All right, we're moving on. Next video. 50 people tell us... Oh, wait, no, this is the wrong video. Oh, 100 people give us their hot takes. The word, your words and the, your mouth and the words are not the same. Is that because of my internet? Yes. We'll restart the app. I skipped my oil change. No, I didn't. 95,000 miles on it. Yes. Isn't your net worth around 400K? Uh, if you added it up, uh, uh, yeah, probably. But like most, most websites say my net worth is like, uh, how much? Like, let's literally Google it. Most websites say my net worth is uh, fucking insanely high, and it's not. Yeah, two to three million dollars, you're on crack. You are on crack. I'm not even worth a million. I'm not even worth a million. I'm not even worth half a million right now. Like, you're out of your mind. A Jeep is not it, buddy. I don't give a fuck. All right, chat. 100 people give us their hot takes. The Colonel KFC, I don't know his real name, I forgot. He stole that recipe from a black man. Hot take. Yes, 100 people to give us their hot take. My hot take? What's a hot take? Hot dick. <laughs> what? What is a hot take? What do you mean it's by like, that? It's uh, like polarizing opinion. Denzel Washington is overrated. I mean, I don't Well, personally whoever said that, that needs to die. <laughs> Donald Duck is infinitely You still dead. might get good money for selling a Camaro being 2010 with 95,000 miles on it. Yeah, I know. If I sold my Camaro right now, I'd probably get like 5K out of it, if I had to guess. I bought it for like 12. Uh, pie for the 500 bets. Uh, I'm back. What happened? Uh, Better nothing. I, I don't know what you mean. Thrills for the sub. Better than Mickey Mouse. Said who? Let's see. Hot takes. Oh, uh, hmm. Hot take. Oh, I think yoga pants should be for yoga only. Hot take. I would much prefer to spend time eating than sex. <laughs> hot take. You know what a hot take is? Oh, I know what a hot take is. <laughs> <laughs> My stuff is way too controversial to even say out loud. Marriage is a scam. College is a scam. That's not e college is a scam isn't a hot take. And marriage is a scam. That's a hot take. That's a cold take. That is a fucking cold take. Marriage is not a scam. Marriage is a scam if you get divorced. Marriage is literally the only thing that's not a scam, really. People get married for fucking tax purposes. How, how can you say marriage is a scam? Marriage is marriage literally saves you money. Getting married to someone else saves you money. What? Uh, no, I can't say that. Do you have a hot take for me? I'm not a liberal and I live in Seattle. <laughs> that's not even a hot take. That's just, that's you said, that's a statement. I'm not a liberal and I live in Seattle. That's not a hot take. That's you just saying you're not a liberal. The fuck? My hot take is that in the future, everyone's going to have naked photos on the internet, and we should just get used to it. Do you have a hot take for me? Instagram what? is the best dating app. The ass is overrated. Instagram's the best dating app? I think most dating apps are pretty shit. So I will say, yeah, that's kind of true. Like, I used to have, um... Before I found Brooke, before I found, before I found the love of my life, I used to have uh, Bumble and Tinder. Shit. Absolute garbage. Dating apps are garbage. Uh, like, some of them are good. Bumble was better than Tinder. But, like, Tinder's just literally the worst app in the world. Uh, most dating apps are terrible. Grinder. Oh, yeah, no, and Grinder. No, fuck off. I didn't have Grinder. I'm back. Everybody should try a butt plug. Men should have to use birth control instead of women. Do you think it shouldn't even be offered to women? I mean, what's stopping us from just clipping them from the get go and then they have to decide that they want to have children? Did she just say that every man should have a vasectomy when they're born? Decide that they want to have children. Now that's that's a that's a take. That's a take. Having to undo a, a vasectomy. Men should have to use birth control instead of women. Do you think it shouldn't even be offered to women? I mean, yeah. Can you even undo a vasectomy? Can you undo a vasectomy? I mean, what's stopping us from just clipping them from the get-go and then they have to decide that they want to have children? Hot take? White male actors all look the same. I don't think Asian <laughs> B. <laughs> okay, some of them do. Like, some of them do. Uh, action, no. It's not all white male actors. White 
action movie actors look all the same. All the same. Like, they look very similar. Babies are very cute. Queerness does not make you a minority. It's not a bad thing if you're haunted by a ghost. Give me a hot take. Hot take. A hot take? Hot take. I think shooting at three o'clock in the morning is a miss. Because then nobody knows it's happening, so you could be- I have no idea what she's saying. When people, when people talk while they're smiling, that pisses me off. A hot take? Hot take. I think shooting at three o'clock in the morning is a miss. Because What did she just say? Somebody, somebody tell, somebody decipher what the fuck she just said. Hot take. Hot take. A hot take? Hot take. I think shooting at three o'clock in the morning is a miss. What did that say? What the fuck did she just say? I have no, I think, I think, now I have to turn on fucking captions for you. Hot take. A hot take. A hot take? Hot take. I think shitting at 3 o'clock in the morning is a miss. Cause then no shitting at 3 a.m. is the best. I would have never deciphered that. Because then no one knows it's happening. Nobody knows it's happening, so you can be as loud as you want. If it's stinking a little bit, it has time to fade out. Here's my hot take. You don't need a Tesla. Just drive a car, a normal car. <laughs> if you wear boxer shorts and you're an adult, then, like, are you even a real adult? Middle school's actually the best. Spoons are too- Yeah, wearing boxers- Wearing bo okay, the, we, the acceptable underwear for males are boxer briefs. If you wear if you wear loose ass boxers, that shit's weird. I'm I that that's my take. If you wear briefs or boxer, wait. If you wear briefs, that's kind of weird, but I mean, it's still better for you. Wearing boxers is actually not that good for you unless you're like sleeping. Like people go to bed in boxers as like pajamas. But, like, if you just wear straight-up boxers, that's odd to me. Like, and, and then you're running. Like, you're in gym class and you're wearing boxers. Bro, you're going to have some saggy ones when you're, like, 80. Lope for the 300 bets. I don't understand why people think college is a scam. They think that someone spends 100K in four years for a psych degree is a scam. If people just do research in which degrees pay the most and align with their interests, they'll make a bag. That is true. Uh, some colleges are a scam, though. It depends. Like, some universities are just overly expensive. Like, overly expensive. Small for cereal. What's wrong with boxers? They're just not good for you. It's not even underwear. You're just wearing, you're wear, you're like, you're basically free balling it. Versus are too big. Even the small ones. Don't get me started. What did she just say? Spoons are too small for cereal. Horses are too big. Even the small ones. Don't get me started. Dogs are like a bit overrated. Horses are too big. What a fucking boring take. What a boring fucking take. I think dogs should have they them pronouns. Self care is overrated. Makeup. What? In general, is going to become a lot more popular with men. Mustaches are fucking oh. stupid. Vegans are cultish. The face mask on. Now that's a hot take. Now that's a take. Now that's a take I'll sometimes agree with. Vegans are cultish. Really. Football helmets are to keep the players from kissing each other. The NFL does not want that broadcasted. What's your hot take? Muslims try too hard to be palatable for the American public. Every time I see someone pulled over, they're not white. I find white people who say that they're woke super annoying. Stop generalizing. I'm woke. No, I'm not woke. Racing <laughs> white people as white. I'm Celtic. Black and brown people can't be racist. I think that Justin Trudeau. Now that's a take. With the whole black face. That was a that was a whole argument on TikTok. That was a whole argument on TikTok for a while. Is forgivable. Wait, what did she just say? Dude, they're white going people. through them too fast. They have to do like pauses. White, I'm Celtic. Black and brown people can't be racist. I think that Justin Trudeau with the whole black face thing is forgivable. People. Who's just Justin Trudeau is the dude from Canada, right? Justin Trudeau's the Canadian like prime minister or whatever. Well, don't actually like LaCroix. My hot take is Taylor Swift's not that bad. I don't know what the big deal over Billie Eilish is. How old are you? I'm 36. Because you're 36. Ah. Call Me By Your Name was kind of a boring film. Just never got into it. What the fuck is Call Me By Your Name? Reality TV is just as good as any documentary. Accidentally in Love is the best song off of any of the Shrek soundtracks. Rihanna's better than Beyonce. I love Beyonce, but I don't love her voice, to be honest with you. Oh, people are still talking about the racial thing. Okay, no, you can't be... Everyone can experience racism. You... Oh my God, I don't know how to explain this. White people can't experience systemic racism, but white people can experience racism. Racism is just categorizing a race into a certain group or, or a specific thing or stereotype racially because of how they are. 
uh, meaning that everyone can be racially discriminated against, but you can't, white people cannot be systemically racially ex uh, discriminated against. They can't experience uh, systemic racism. That is a fact. I also don't like the baby. You don't like it? Unpopular. <laughs> it's systemic racism. Systemic racism is, is something that white people in America cannot experience, but they can experience racism because racism, by definition, is prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed at a person or people basis on the membership of a particular race, meaning any race can experience racism. But systemic racism is completely different. But he's a cool dude in real life. Who? Oh. The baby. The rapper. Oh, I thought you meant Beyonce's baby. Oh, blue? Nah, blue is cool. Give me a hot take. What is systemic racism? Oh my gosh. I've talked about this like a thousand times. Systemic racism is ist institutional racism, also known as systemic racism, is a form of racism that is embedded in laws and regulations of society or an organization. It's, bas it's basically made for, it's like a historic racism. Uh, it's manifested as a discrimination in areas as criminal justice, employment, housing, healthcare, education, and po political representation. It's basically historical laws and societies and, and cultural, like how people perceive one another throughout history. White people cannot experience that. What? Hot take. Hot take? Maybe you feel like Britney Spears is gonna make a comeback. <laughs> what? I don't understand. What celebrity is overrated? Miley Cyrus, Jennifer Lawrence, Chance the Rapper, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Dave Man. Cardi B is so overrated. Cardi B is so overrated. Cardi B is so overrated. Oh my fucking god, dude. Terrible, terrible rapper. I hate every, every song. Dude, there's, I don't listen to Cardi B's solos. But there's some songs that Cardi B's in that I'll listen to, and when it gets to Cardi B, fast forward. What's one of the songs? Hold up, let me find it. I get to one of her songs, and I'm just like, yep, let me let me dip on that one. Cl uh, clout by Offset. I'll listen to Offset's uh, clout. Once it gets to Cardi B, I fast forward. Uh, Where's her part? Let me find her part. I, on the bait. I gotta get to her part. Her part is so bad. I should run a whole blog at this rate. They using my name for good bait. Bitches even want to stop fake beef. Just said a little weave in the mixtape. They know I'm the bomb. They're ticking me off. Like I hate. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. I don't know why I hate it. Just does. He's Ellen DeGeneres. Kanye West. Kashi69. Jake Gyllenhaal. Azalea Banks. Lizzo. The Beatles suck. Lil Fancy for the sub. Lil Wayne is the greatest rapper alive. Peter McKinnon is overrated. Who's that? Peter McKinnon is a photographer. Who is this again? Peter McKinnon. Your hot take is about a fucking photographer. Oh my god, get this kid out of here. McKinnon. Is he famous? He's pretty famous, yeah. What was his name? Peter McKinnon. Give me a hot take. I feel like they're all food related. Okay. I've just learned about GMOs. They don't seem that bad. Coffee's the worst. I really like candy corn. Stale popcorn? Way better. Don't seem that bad. Coffee's the worst. I really like candy corn. She looks like she likes candy corn. She looks like she likes candy corn. Candy corn. Stale popcorn. Way better than normal popcorn. Icing is better nah, than Nah, bro. I can, I fuck with candy corn. I'll eat like five pieces though. Here's the thing. Candy corn, I, candy corn is good in very small amounts. After like five, it's terrible. Actual candy. theory for the side. Eggnog should be sold year round. Anyone that eats raisins for fun. Eggnog yeah. should be sold year round. That's a fact. Gotta go. Bananas are trash. They're mushy, smelly garbage. Most of the population isn't ready to hear that. In and Out Burgers is very overrated. Why is there a line down the street for Chick fil A? You want like zingers? Because Chick fil A is the best, the fuck. Also, that does piss me off. Chick fil A lines actually cause traffic, and that pisses me the fuck off. All right, hold up. We got a few more videos. I gotta go piss real quick. I've been drinking too much water. Count me down 30 seconds.
We're back. Oh my gosh. Back to the reactions, shall we? All right, this is a long awaited video. My chat has recommended me to watch this a million times. This toy illegally spied on 6.4 million children. I don't even know what toy it is. Um, Neoki for the 300 bets. The woman who said queerness doesn't make you a minority, in my opinion, makes no sense because a minority isn't based off of an opinion. Yeah, literally, you're right. Yeah, no, a lot of those hot takes were weird as shit. They just, I feel like they should have elongated them because they didn't give enough time to, like, actually think about the take. A kid's electronic. Oh, somebody redeemed show had set that. Oh, fucking God. Dude, it's not even dented. I just, my, the back of my head looks fucking stupid. Electronic toy maker, VTech, admitting tonight it's been targeted by hackers. This latest hack impacts children. Five million people worldwide have had their data stolen. Why would this hacker want, you know, hundreds or thousands of photos of children or whatever sure. else that they're collecting? Well, let's find out today. So to understand this story, we need to take it back a year. So it's Christmas morning, and you just bought both of your kids the brand new VTech InnoTab 3 learning tablet. And man, what the fuck is that? Have you guys ever heard of InnoTab 3S? This was in 2015. Your kids are stoked. So behind the screams of joy, you know deep down they're going to be safe on the web. But more importantly, they're going to learn. Now, maybe you're not super tech savvy being a... Somebody just said I had that. Well, I guess you were spied on then. Somebody's redeemed flex really hard. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like an alternative to an iPad or a Kindle Fire. Boomer and all, but at least with VTech, you can send your kids videos, photos, pictures, all from your smartphone. But don't worry, it's all age appropriate. With VTech Kid Connect, you get the comfort of hearing each other's voice. I love you, Mom. Anywhere, anytime. And for you, this tablet is just another device to add to your Wi-Fi network, like your smartwatch, your smart mug. And VTech tells you that all of your data is going to be safe. But connecting everything we own to the internet opens up a new can of worms for us, because this toy isn't Fat designed for up, security. Evo for it's designed to have fun. And what VTech- Dude, this literally looks like an, a, a Walmart version of fucking a Kindle Fire. Or, like, leapfrog, yeah. ...able to tell you was how much illegal data they would collect on your child. And even worse, how unsecure it all was. Now, hacker can kind of be a cringe word, honestly. We often think of black hoodies, green text, that are all mainframes, but that's more of a Hollywood trope. You see, real hackers are interested in making Probably. a system do what it was never intended for. Hackers yeah, look for exploits. And when a group of hackers found this new VTech tablet, they did what they do best. Online forums sprung up dedicated to just hacking the InnoTap 3. One guy figured out to run Doom on it, of course he did. Another guy popped it open and was able to get root access in the Linux operating system. And pretty soon, this children's tablet had its own little thriving hacking community all online. Now, Slipstream was a 21-year-old security researcher working for Malwarebytes, which is pretty important. Bro, I'm about to do a poll on whether or not you guys had these. Because I've never even heard of this. Did you have one of these? Yes or no? Don't fucking say yes if you didn't have one. I know people are going to fucking cap. Impressive, honestly. And he knew a bit more than your average Joe when it came to finding exploits. So when he stumbled upon this VTech hacking farm, he became fascinated with the community. So he picked one up at his local store. So after a few weeks of messing around with it, he discovered the tablet talked to a website pretty often, planetvtech.com. Now, there's really nothing out of the ordinary with that, but when he checked the site, he kind of noticed a pretty big problem. Planet VTech was using Adobe Flash for its login form. Let me put this in perspective. Flash has been banished from the internet. Yeah, bro. Anybody remember when you would try to play childhood games and it was like, oh, sorry, Adobe Flash doesn't exist anymore? That always fucking sucked because Adobe Flash was so unsecure. Fanboy for the 300 bets. Average Joe. In 2020, because it is riddled with exploits and vulnerable to SQL injections. Now, for those that don't know, SQL injections are like one of the biggest security threats for a website online. But what is it? Now, let's say you fill out an online form, and instead of typing in your name like a good boy, you're a bad boy this time, and you put a piece of malicious code, a SQL injection. Now, once you hit enter, the site will take that piece of code as a command for the database rather than just a piece of data. And this allows the hacker to steal, modify, or add data to the entire database of that site so we're talking emails Dude, credit people that can do this shit though like computer coders in general as well as like computer coder hackers i genuinely think are like geniuses 
Like being able to do that is just insane. Cards, phone numbers, passwords. Now today there's lots of tools to protect yourself against these attacks, but at its most basic level to perform a SQL injection, the website must have a vulnerable input page. And in that case, Adobe Flash is honestly probably the worst thing you could possibly have. So seeing how vulnerable the site was to SQL injection, Slipstream looked through his own scripts that he had to execute SQL injections. And he could try one on the site, though if he was, he'd be committing a federal crime and he'd probably risk his pretty good job that he had. But he thought he probably shouldn't even try because VTech has to have their security on point, right? Nope. As a 21 year old kid with his brain not even fully developed, he loads it up and hits enter on the script. Bam. Holy f I have root. That was easy. What can I find? AKA Slipstream, a 21 year old kid, had complete access to VTEC's network. And he couldn't believe it. A $2 billion. But what would you do with that? Like, what would you do with complete access? A company with an open door to their back end. Now, at this point, Slipstream should have just left the network and alerted VTEC of the security gap. And then hopefully they would have forgiven him for hacking in. But that's not, he didn't do that. Now, let's remember. Oh, does he end up going to jail? Brain. So he's in the network and he starts snooping around and he finds several databases. And they're all big. I mean, we're talking gigabytes of data, which seemed pretty important. Now, he didn't have time to actually look inside and see what they were. So we thought, steal now and he'll check it later. Oh, so sell access. He yeah. Can find, and then quick. Disconnect it's like data access. Oh, up. so he sold access to like ad companies and shit. Now, once the adrenaline wore off, Slipstream had just realized he had committed a federal crime and a pretty <laughs> big one at that, stealing the data of over 4,833,678 accounts. What would the prison sentence be for that? Holy. Hell, on the dark web, your data goes for $65 a pop. So times that, that's $314 million. Even if he was to make a hundredth of that, that's a pretty nice payday. But Slipstream wasn't in it for the money. It was just his curiosity. And when that curiosity led him to take a closer look at the stolen trove of data, a pit grew in his stomach. Because this wasn't your average data breach. It was the data of children. We're talking full names, email addresses, questions, home addresses, who their parents are, what's their address, everything. Essentially, anyone with access to this database could say- That's like Here seven creepy. That you're like hacking a, t a like a children's toy. Your old Tom Beck with his dad Mark Beck. They live at 123 Oakview Lane. His password is 456. Their security question is what's your dog's first name? Answer, Rex, Mark Beck at hotmail.com. Pretty f but the scariest part of all of this was the thousands of messages and videos and pictures of children who had used the tablet. It was essentially the data for anyone. Is that video of it? Messages and videos and pictures of children who had used the tablet. It was essentially the data for anyone who had ever registered with VTech, which is a $2 billion company. Now, Slipstream didn't just couldn't believe it, that he had just taken the identities of children. So he had three choices at this point. Number one, sell the data. Number two, tell VTech about the security gap and maybe they'll fix it. Or number three, tell the media about VTech's security gap and then they'll have to fix it. Now, weeks later, Lorenzo, a reporter at Motherboard, receives an encrypted message from an- That is the longest name ever. Now, weeks later- Lorenzo Franceschi Bicciera. Lorenzo, a reporter at Motherboard, receives an encrypted message from an unknown number. It was a hacker who wanted to remain anonymous and hand over the database of 4.8 million accounts from a children's tablet company, VTech. Now, this hacker had made it clear that he had never sold or was going to sell this data. He said, quote, I just want these issues made aware and fixed, he said. But most important of all, the hacker wanted him to break this story. Now, for Lorenzo, the hardest part wasn't writing the article about this. He needed to verify that this even happened. Because any story about a data breach could just tank a company stock and lose the million. Oh, so he has to prove that he has the info of all these kids. Oh, that's so fucked. To be able to report on it, you need the proof of it. It's a dollar. So yeah, you better make damn sure that you do your due diligence on this. Now, for Lorenzo to verify this, one person came to mind, Troy Hunt. Now, he's known as the data breach expert, the creator of HaveIBeenPwned.com. It's where you can check to see if your personal data has been compromised. So this guy knows his So Lorenzo sends him all of the VTech files, and the minute Troy opens them up, he is astounded by how bad the whole thing is. The identities of 200,000 children who were on average seven years old. But what would you do on these tablets? Like, what are you fucking doing? Like, are they gaming tablets? Was it just like a simpler iPad?
people. 4.8 learning games. Million customer email addresses with their corresponding unencrypted passwords. Now, the passwords weren't stored in plain text, but what's called hashed with MD5. Now, MD5 is a cryptography algorithm that's been broken for about 20 years, meaning that all of these passwords could be cracked easily within minutes. But then that didn't even matter because the secret questions and answers for the whole password recovery were stored in plain text, meaning anyone could just reset the password and use that information for other accounts tied to that email. Now, this was bad, but he needed to make sure how was this data even real because there is a thing as fabricated data breaches. Now, Troy's website, Have I Been Pwned, allows users to notify them when their email's in a data breach. Now, this is like a massive repository of every data breach that has ever happened. So he cross-examined the VTech database, the Have I Been Pwned database, and he finds 18 emails that have been involved. So he reaches out and it's a pretty big stretch and he emails them asking for some help if they'd be willing to verify some non-sensitive data you know he emails them saying hey where do you live that's fucking weird where they live at and if they had a vtech account and all they could do now was just wait but thank god because within 24 hours six people respond dr back. smoke for the three yes, being that's my data. a coder no is doubt. not that hard if you understand the basics yeah dude but i've taken a computer coding class and it is so fucking boring about it. So it looked like all the signs were pointing to this data being real. But it even gets worse because even though there were tens of thousands of children's photos and video files, they were all encrypted, that same database they were in had the decryption keys for all of it, meaning it didn't even matter. VTech had f up so bad. So with Lorenzo having the full confidence that this breach, the whole thing happened. Now we had the mission of trying to tell VTech about this incident. And I say mission because you think for a $2 billion company, that'd be a little Is bit Is VTech nope. still fucking popular? Emails referring him to this guy, telling him to call here, telling him to leave a voicemail over here, back and forth. And then finally, after a couple of days, he finally got a hold of someone. And they said, On November 14th, an unauthorized party accessed their VTech customer data on our Learning Lodge app store. Yo, no cap, this video is boring as fuck. Like, I'm halfway through, but, like, y'all recommend it. Like, I think the first four minutes were interesting, but now he's just telling the whole story about it. And, like, like I can't say anything about it. Like, what am I going to say? Like, I'm, gonna, I'm about to do a poll. Like, do we finish? Do we skip? Yes or no? Because, like, this shit is, bro, it's, like, the same, bro. Like, it's just, it's literally just the same thing. And, like, finding out how, like, they fixed it. Like, the whole story was told in the first three minutes. Like, this is where the story was done. In, like, three minutes. Alright, we gonna skip that. We gonna skip that. We gonna skip that video. Oh, what happened to Slipstream? That's the only thing I want to know. What happened to him? It said off the hook. Oh, wait. He then hacked into Nintendo and caused the biggest data leak in Nintendo's history. And then he hacked into North Korea and stole their operating system, all before the age of 24. <laughs> so Slipstream, if you're watching this, I'm not condoning what you did, but god damn, is that impressive. Now, oh, does times he like, are work for the government now or some shit? Okay, whatever. Alright, we got